Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to use the AND function. Now what the AND function does, as it states here, is it checks whether all arguments are true and returns a true if all arguments are true. And if any of the arguments are false, it will return a false. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, I'm going to say equals um, AND, and then 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, and then 0 plus 0 equals 0 and then uh, 2 plus 2 equals 4. All right. So in this instance, uh, it's all true, because 1 plus 1 is 2, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 2 plus 2 is 4. Right? That returns is true. If any of these conditions, these any one of these three formulas is wrong, let's say 0 plus 0, we put 0 plus 0 equals 2, it's going to return a false, because all of these conditions have to be met. Now, how can we use the AND function? Well, here's an example of how we can use the AND function. Now, let's say, for example, I've got a, this is a small table. I've got products, I've got their weights, and the locations that they're shipped to. And I want to give priority to shipments that are over 100, over 100 pounds or 100 units, and they're going to the west region. So basically, they'll have a first priority, and anything else has a second priority. Now, you may think that, oh, well, this is probably could be done with an if statement. I can just go ahead and do, I'll just kind of title this priority priority with if, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say equals if uh, this is over 100 pounds. Now that's true. Now if it's true, I want to have it meet the second condition. So I'm going to say if uh, the location equals west, then if that value is true. So if both these conditions are met, um, the weight is over 100 and the location equals west, that's going to be a priority of 1. If it's false, it's 0. So I'm going to close that second if statement. So it's going to bring me back to the, the, the first if statement. And if it's true, it's going to go into the second if statement. But if it's false, then it's going to give me a 0. right? So what I want to do is say, if uh, the weight is over 100 and the location is west, then it's going to give me value 1. Everything else will give me a value 0. Right, so I'll go ahead and close parentheses, press enter, and this, that's going to be zero. And I'm going to go ahead and double click the fill handle here, and it will copy the formula down. And you notice that uh, this is the only criteria that's met because that's over 100 and that equals west. We have some other west here, but that is under 100. Right now, this is kind of a fairly simple example. If we had other uh, columns that had other uh, values that we wanted to test our condition. Maybe there was another column that indicated uh, a cost to ship. Uh, maybe the cost to ship depends on some fees or whatever. Uh, we would have to put some other conditional statements in there. And you can see that as we grow our values or our column field headings into the values, and if we want to do some conditional statements, it gets a little bit more complicated because you're going to have to write multiple if statements. Now, with the AND statement, you can actually do that kind of fairly easier. So I'm going to go ahead and type priority with AND. Now in this instance, we're still going to use an if statement, but we only need to use one because what we're trying to do is we're trying to meet the criteria where um, two, two criteria are true. In this instance, we're going to type equals if, and then we're going to put an AND in there now. We're going to put AND, and we're going to put both our conditions in this AND statement. So it's basically saying if and this and that are true, then go here. So basically, I'm going to say if weight is greater than 100 and if the location equals west, and then close, it, close that parentheses. If those two conditions are met, then that's true. So I'm, I'm still in this logical test here. So I'm comma. If that's true, then I put the 1. Anything else? It's going to be false. Close parentheses, press enter. You notice we have the same value here, 0. Double click the fill handle, bring it down, and we have the same value there. So what the AND function does is it gives us uh, either true or false output based on the conditions we give it. Now here's an example where we can use it, where we're trying to do some uh, conditions where we have some criteria. If this, then that. If this, then that. And if we have multiple ones, instead of writing multiple if statements, we can just write one if statement and wrap an AND inside of it to fit those conditions, and it will give us our output. So there's the AND function, an example of how we can use the AND function. So I hope that helps.
Thanks for watching.